Congratulations. You've just purchased Power, the most innovative game of the 20th century, combining skills and tactics in a global battle setting. If you'll take the next 10 minutes and review this tutorial, you'll increase your enjoyment of the game significantly. And more importantly, you'll start out with a decided power edge over your opponents. And after all, isn't power what it's all about? Let's get started. The object of the game is to capture each of your opponent's flags. You'll do that by amassing superior armed forces and eventually invading their headquarters where the flag is located. Only a foot soldier or regiment can actually capture a flag. While you may invade the opponent's headquarters with superior force, unless and until the invading party has at least one lowly grunt, the flag remains standing, even if all the other defenses are captured. The power board is divided into four countries, surrounded by sea lanes and dotted with five islands. Each area of the board, water or land, is also divided into numbered grids. The four corners of the board are home to four separate headquarters where you'll house your armies, and each headquarters has a reserve space where reserve troops will wait to be called upon. The game is played by two, three, or four opponents and has a two-hour maximum time limit. A three-minute sand timer provided with each game times each round. Players have up to three minutes to write down a maximum of five moves per round. When the timer is turned over, all four players write down their moves by designating which piece they want to move, which grid or position on the board it will be moved from, and which grid it will be moved to. Note the limitation on each piece's movement. Infantrymen can only move two spaces, small tanks three, fighter planes five, and destroyers just one. Also note all pieces except aircraft must stop at the islands and no piece, including aircraft, can move from one country to another except by way of the islands. In the case of planes, moving from country A to B must take them directly over an island, and the island counts as one of the five maximum spaces they may move in one round. When the three-minute time expires, each player follows their written commands and moves accordingly. Game pieces have restrictions on their movements in much the same way that chess pieces are limited. They also have differing power values. When two or more pieces occupy the same grid at the end of a round, the army with the highest point total in that square wins the battle, and the loser's pieces are then transferred to the winner's reserve arsenal. They are then exchanged for similar pieces in the winner's color. As the game opens, each player begins with the same number and type of pieces. Two infantrymen, with a power value of two each. Two fighter planes, power value five each two light tanks, power value three each, and two small destroyers, power value ten each. Within a few rounds, battles ensue, and pieces are captured, changing the balance of power. You can increase your personal power several ways. The first is obvious. Capture your opponent's pieces as a result of combat, eventually capturing their flag, and you receive all of their existing forces. The second way is through the process of exchanging pieces. When you get three pieces of the same kind and rendezvous them on the same grid, you may then exchange them for a piece of superior power. For example, three fighters with a power value of 15 may be exchanged for a bomber, power value 25. Three small tanks, power value 9, may be exchanged for a heavy tank with a value of 30. Three foot soldiers, a power value of 6, may be exchanged for a regiment with a value of 20. The other exchanges and values are listed on the board as a reminder. A third way of accumulating power is by earning power points. Those little lightning bolts are awarded at the end of every round when you safely maintain one of your playing pieces in an opponent's country. A maximum of three power, one for each country per round. In this case, for example, red has pieces safely in two countries, so red picks up two power points. Those points may be used to buy additional game pieces with one bolt equivalent to one power value. An infantryman would then cost two power points, a small tank three, etc. Power points need not be used immediately. They can be saved for future exchanges. Let's look at a typical round. The timer is turned over and each player begins to write the commands on their pads. At the end of the three minutes, the pads are placed face down and the players must make the moves that they scripted. There is conflict in one grid. White loses a tank and an infantryman to black. 
There are no other conflicts in this round, but all four players have forces in opposing countries, and so pick up power points accordingly. Each time you move a piece or make an exchange, it counts as one of your five commands per round. For example, three power for one tank is one move. Three for another tank is two moves. Three powers for a third tank is three moves. Combining all three tanks for a heavy is four moves. And a heavy from reserve to headquarters counts as the fifth move. No pieces may be moved from reserve to headquarters and then on to the battlefield in the same round. As in real life, reserve troops must spend time at headquarters to become battle ready before being deployed. In the case of power, they can be moved out in the next round at the earliest. Well, that's a crash course in how the game of power is played. There's also a two and three person version, so check the printed rules enclosed for the variations for that game. If you've made it this far through the tutorial, you're probably ready to begin playing, so have at it. If, however, you'd like to spend just a few more minutes with us, check out section two of this tape. It deals with tips, tactics, and warnings, and it gives you just a little bit more insight into the game of power. If not, enjoy the next couple of hours and view section two when the need arises. Until then, let the game begin.